In today's video, you will learn about client scripting, how it was done in UI 16, and I'll demonstrate how it can be done using workspaces. At the end, you'll have a better understanding of UI Builder client scripting use cases. Client scripting in UI 16 uses the GForm class and the option of additional scratchpad variables. Client scripts in UI Builder work in concert with event handlers. But before we get to event handlers, we need to discuss client states. Client states, or client state parameters, as you can see on the screen, listen for changes in the workspace and let you manage the state of that workspace. Think of them as global page parameters. You define them and then you can set their value from one place and use that value in another place on your page. You can see that I've defined two client state parameters here. One is our default state filter and the other is our work button state. The default state filter is used to filter the list of work tasks. And the work button state is used to hide and show the work buttons. UI Builder client scripts allow you to run client-side JavaScript based on an event. And one of the things I like about client scripts in UI Builder is that you can bind a client script to any event fired on your page through an event handler. Client scripts can do things like getting available data, manipulating data, storing it in the client state, accessing data resource results, dispatching events, and more. Let's quickly review events and event handlers now that we've set up our client states. In our configuration pane, you can see that we have a section called events. I've tied an event handler to my button click event. So when the button is clicked, it's going to launch one or many event handlers. One of the event handlers that I've set up is updating the client state parameter. You can see it updates the client state parameter with a value of open. When I click on show open work, it updates that same client state parameter to the value of closed. Why would I do this, you ask? Well, let's take a look. In the configuration pane at the top, I've edited the component visibility on my open button so that it hides when the work button state is default or when it's set to closed. Show completed work hides when the button is set to open. The client state parameter drives the component visibility. Next, we have our client filter. And that is being updated through the use of a page event that sets our client script. You all came here to learn about client scripts. Let's go look at a basic one. And remember, by using the ServiceNow documentation, you can take these as far as you want to go. A basic one filters my work tasks. You can see that we're grabbing the state of the event, and then we're setting our default state filter to trigger on the state. So going back to the events, when I click on show completed work, it also runs my event and it sets my state value to three, which is closed. Remember that the state value is also used in the my work list filter. You can combine client scripts, client state parameters, and event handlers to do things like toggle filters and visibility of page components. So you can see when I click show completed work, the show open work button is displayed and the list filter is modified. If I press show open work, the list filter is again set back to open and completed work is visible. The power of client states, client scripts, and event handling makes options on your page endless. In summary, we reviewed the difference between a client script in UI 16 and client scripts and their associated helpers in UI Builder workspaces.